the truth about Gideon returning to content creation. All right, so about a month ago, I made a video about Gideon coming back to streaming after he got unbanned on Twitch. And since then, a lot of people has been saying like, he's really not staying true to his word of, you know, Christianity, the content stuff is, you know, not lying. I don't remember what happened with Gideon leaving everything. I know he's, I know he like went full, like religion based or whatever. I don't know up with christian views and stuff like that whatever and some people are basically saying that he's only doing this because rent is due and that he basically needs money so i'm just gonna break down this whole thing really really quick without further ado let's get into the video now like i said a Need month money. ago i made a video about Gideon coming back to twitch i detailed everything a year ago he made a video titled goodbye Gideon. say hello to Nah, Gideon don't need money, ain't gonna lie. Dot, dot, dot. Where he talks about certain things, Maybe. The I new don't changes know. that he's gonna make, he and he made another video out of this titled why i delete all my videos obviously because he deleted all his prank videos and he talks about how pranking has impacted other people's lives in a bad way like somebody lost their job from him pranking them and he felt bad about it on top of his christian views that it didn't seem like pranking lined up with christian views basically try to compare it to satan why did i delete all of my prank videos prank a noun a mischievous trick or joke especially one in which something is done rather than said if you do a trick on somebody you have to deceive them and we all know who is the master and the king of deception that's satan himself so every time that i'm doing a prank that's or it. doing a prank on a person i am literally really practicing what the master prankster himself satan did but the one thing i think that haunts me the most is one of my most popular like pretty extreme pranks was, was whenever i snuck into the gatorade hq and i deceived the security guards and lied and said that I was working there and that I was part of the commercial team. And I got the prank done, got millions of views off of it. So many people giving me props. But what a lot of you guys don't know is three people lost their jobs because of me. Because I lied and was saying that I worked there, I got three security officers fired that had been working there for years. Yeah, all because tough. I wanted to play a practical joke all because I want to entertain you guys. And that's evil. Now about six, seven months later, Gideon comes back to content creation after making a video titled, coming out, I mean, come back video. You guys know what I've been up to, man. I've been on my second channel, you know, uh, preaching about my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I'm still gonna continue doing that because I just genuinely feel like that's my life's calling. And I feel like the most high is using me as a vessel. So I'm gonna keep on doing that, but I can't lie to you guys, man. I mean, I love to entertain y'all. I love, hey, love, yo. love to entertain. And I miss entertaining it's you guys. Bug. It's a drug. So I was like, you know what? Let's go back. Let's start anew. Let's do this the right way. So your boy's back. I'm gonna be making, you know, reaction videos. We're gonna be doing let's plays, and you know, we're also gonna let's be doing some play. pranks, y'all. You know, we're gonna be yeah, pranking. Gonna and be ah, yeah, got you with that last one. Nope, no, 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 no. We are not going back to the prank era. No, 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 no. no. Not all seriousness, man. You guys are gonna get reactions, let's plays, and we're just gonna be hanging out, talking, man. You know, you know, just like the old times, but you know, just a lot more. Tamed. And after this, he made a video with a Yakuza member. He exposed the pedal, which actually was crazy because people were getting mad at him saying that, you know, he just said that he wasn't going to do this type of content anymore, whatever, 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 which he never actually said. He just said he wasn't going to do pranks anymore and stuff oh, like shit. that. The pranks that he was doing back then, mind you, he's, he was doing, he's doing new pranks now. Like it's not like the pranks where you're actually messing with people going out in public and stuff like that. It's, it's virtually harmless. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie to you. And it's crazy because people were actually getting mad that he was exposing pedos it was just weird bro like i, I don't yeah. understand why a, a youtuber who's christian can't do both entertain and you know follow christ on the side or whatever but i, I get it from a like a, a christian standpoint a, a religious standpoint that you know you can't serve two masters and stuff like that i understand that but what? a youtuber is going to be a YouTuber. What? content creator is going to be a content creator and he continues to do more content like purposely bombing comedy shows which is really good i ain't gonna lie i was actually watching that the other day and like i just said he was doing uber pranks and various reactions to videos viral videos and stuff like that he actually addressed people that were talking about he changed and you know he's backtracking and didn't you say you were going to do this and do that in a video titled Gideon addresses his christian status and i'll let you see the clips right here i made two videos on my main channel addressing everything and telling people you know why i wouldn't be doing pranks and you know 
why pranks. I would be stepping away from all that. Why I won't and be so that was in like October when I made that last video on my main channel, right? Fast forward a to December. How to highlight like, yo, like a, to Dion, like we're a doing a creators putt putt tournament, bro. So I'm like, bro, play putt putt with my friends, other creators, people I haven't seen in a while. They fly me out. I go out there, I go on Instagram, I'm looking at the post. Tell me why I go in the comments section and I see people saying, oh, I knew he was lying about being a real Christian, bro. Look at him, he's still out here doing it's stuff. Because him. I was playing putt-putt. Now I also saw people saying, I thought he said he would never go on the internet again. He's such a liar. And bro, I'm seeing people say the complete opposite of what I said. Go in the comment section. Oh, I knew he wasn't a real Christian. Da 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 da. Is Jadeon still a Christian? You know, I'll be seeing it in the chat, bro. We'll be vibing, nah. reacting to a video. <laughs> Am I still a Christian? Are you Christian? Of course, bro. Nah, bro. Of course. bro Jesus <laughs> like, Christ yapping, is my bro. Lord and Savior to the day I die. I have no plans on changing that, bro. Mm -hmm. I've been a Christian my entire life. Just because I say I'm giving my life to Christ doesn't mean I wasn't a Christian before. It's just like, I want to really dedicate my life to Christ. I think a lot of people saw the title and the thumbnail and they were like, oh, bro, he was never a Christian before, yada, 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 yada. And this is the thing, man. It's probably my fault for putting it out there, but the reason why I put my journey out to the world, for instance, it wasn't to get brownie points with the Christian community. It wasn't to get sympathy from y'all. It was none of that. It was 100, 1,000% for me. And I'll tell you guys why. I was like, bro, something's got to give. So what I did for myself was I put myself into rehab, low key. But I put myself into internet rehab. Not for you guys, but for me. To hold me accountable. Because I couldn't hold myself accountable. So I was like, you know what, Janeon? If you're going to be acting up, now the world's going to see you act up and backtrack and the other day he hosted a fight club going back to the roots bro because if you watch Gideon back then about maybe three four years ago he was doing these types of videos with the boxing and stuff like that he actually got knocked out if you guys actually remember that he actually got knocked out in one of these videos now my whole thoughts on this is that i feel like if you're a content creator and you say you're christian you have christian values and then you go by the bible and stuff like that I understand how people will, will look, you know, a certain way when you come back to do the content that you said or you insinuated that you weren't going to do anymore and stuff like that, which is he's actually standing by that because I haven't seen any of those old pranks where he's going around messing with people. The closest to that is the, uh, the Uber pranks and they're really tame. I'm going to be honest. They're really tame. Speaking of tame, he's really not even cursing. Like he's not cursing at all, actually, anymore. Like he's not cursing. He's not participating in any type of degenerate stuff like he was you know egging on certain situations you know uh having you know women whatever women that he did have on the stream here and there and stuff like that he's not participating in that so from what i see i see a changed man i ain't gonna lie but i see a person that that has always done content creation and they want to continue doing content creation he has a passion for it. it and i don't think anybody should you know criticize that unless you know what i mean He's going back to what he's doing, whatever, whatever, whatever. And he's telling people you should do this and do that. And he's being a hypocrite. I definitely understand that. But he's not really being a hypocrite right now. He's just making content. He's always made content. This is him. That's him. He's an entertainer. He loves to entertain. So, I mean, take it easy on a man, bro. <laughs> like, take it easy. I ain't saying no content creator should be criticized. I'm just saying, like, bro. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> I kind of, I, I kind of agree with the man, like, like he said, bro. He, the dude just likes making content. Like, I, that doesn't make him any less Christian because he likes to he enjoys making content. It's not like content creation as a whole is evil. It, I mean, there is some like bad content creator out there that like, put a bad name, a bad rep on it, bro. But there's a few bad apples everywhere. You know what I'm saying? There's bad apples in every you know, niche, in every freaking um, corner of the world. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna find those motherfuckers like this. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they just, ru they're ruining it. You know what I'm saying? They're ruining it for the rest of us. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean, like, let the man do what the man wants to do. You know what I'm saying, bro? Do what you want. Man, do what you makes you happy. You know what I'm saying, bro? Do what makes you happy. That's my takeaway from myself. My belly's also hungry, too. I need me some food.